Hello. In this video, we want to go through the process of building a Linux Debian 10 distribution in a testing environment. Currently, the Debian distribution has been released. A newer distribution, which is the Debian 10, was suspected to be a Debian buster. Um, in the previous videos, I showed you how to install in 10 minutes Debian distribution. We want to follow the same procedure. We want to start with the same file. There's a file that actually is going to help us to get through this, which is the DNOS or DNOS get started. I go ahead and I'm starting here. Um, in a virtual machine using Xbuntu. And uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to start a directory for my. Debian 10. Download the file from the GitHub repository, which is a shell script, GitHub of X, which is the get started. If we take a look, it's just basically the same file. W get a whole bunch of files. So let's go ahead and um, run it. What it's going to do is going to download all these files, all the required files. All the requires ready to build or distribution and it's going to give the right permissions and that's it one of the things that is important there's going to be two changes we need to do the first change is going to be to tell them that i want to install the debian buster distribution that's going to be in the script number two on the day in the basically in the the bootstrap file So instead of use the distribution stretch, it's going to use Buster. Everything else will be the same. As usual, we'll take a look at the next config. Uh, let's see what the next one is called. Build in 10. And Good enough. Uh, so we have the name of distribution, the directory in the folder where it's going to be built. We change the kernel. The only thing that we don't have at this point is like in the script number three, there's a part where you want uh, to build um, uh, QT. We need to actually parse a, a kernel version. The kernel is not going to be the same as the Jesse distribution. Buster is going to have so We'll go through that in a minute. And uh, for the scope of this purpose, we're well, in home. And then we go to the actual virtual machine. Where is my Debian X? The files. Um, the bootstrap is actually pointing to the bus distribution. So just follow the same recipe as the previous videos. The first script is just to um, check the dependencies. And basically, just go ahead and get for dependencies if everything is installed. If it's installed, install it. If not, I run it before, so this is actually already done. Let me go ahead and do the second script, which is actually the, boot, the bootstrap installation. Now, because we're specifying on the script that it's going to be pulling from the buster repositories, that's actually what it's, what it's going to be doing based on the FTP side. So this is probably the most time-consuming part, with that, which is actually downloading and putting everything on the place we tell them to build, which is the build exporter. And there's the files that actually is building, pulling, retrieving, and validating a bunch of files from the live install. A directory to the files, eventually we'll start downloading everything and then uncompressing all the files, which is basically your Linux distribution. 
as they said, we're doing super easy to install or to build your own Linux distribution in no time, especially for testing. The part starts flying right here when you start compressing, eventually, it's going to jump the number of files and folders. We're going to have lots and lots of files. The file system is going to be built. All right. Now, that's what we have in our, our Cherud environment. This is actually going to the Cherud environment in which we have to run script number three. Um, one of the things that the script number three does, it's actually, if you let me show it here, in our own build, um, it's, um, this part, we need to look for the app cache, the search Linux image, which is the Linux image we want to be using. So let's go ahead and do So we have different options for the buster, for the Debian buster. One of the ones I'm thinking we want to use is going to be the Linux image 419 AMD 64. So let's go ahead and update accordingly. This file is the second change that I want to do from the project. I'll probably build some more screws, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to the build. LXTE. And right here, we're not going to use the image 49, we're going to use the 419 0 4 AM60. That looks correct. So, right now, for LXDE, if I take up here, It reflects the 419 in the Cherud environment, it reflects the correct file, the right kernel. So I'm ready to actually execute the script, which is going to be the second part in a Cherud environment. Download the image, download the kernel, download the extra files and dependencies added to the distribution that you can actually modify in the text file. Basically, it's going to be adding um, network manager, network tools, word this, uh, wireless, black box, screen fetch, screen terminal, LX terminal, BIM, B edit, B editor. Uh, right here is going to do Google calls, it's going to actually tell me the language. And it's going to set up the root password. So we just let him finish, uh, do his second part of the install in the Cherud environment. And it's going to run fairly quickly. It depends on your bandwidth and your network resources. So just be patient on this part, but it doesn't really take that long compared to other distributions. Once it's uploading and unpacking everything, it's getting there. Eventually, it's going to ask us about the keyboard layout and the root password, and that should be it. This will an X server, as we stated, and we want to do the LXD. This will tell the English keyboard layout, and finally, we'll be the local the fonts. Eventually, ask us for the root password. Just so right now for testing purposes, and we're done with this part that you're going to exit. The next script actually is going to be the 4, 3, 4, which actually is going to do the squash file system. So I go back and look at it. Right here, it's actually just the image. Nice. Uh, 
and right there is where you're actually building the image for the system. Um, it's going to be moving ahead eventually, so we get through. The total image size is about 300 megs, 350 megs tops. This is a vanilla Verbon Debian 10 distribution. Pretty good for 10 minutes installation. You can customize the way you want it. It's not really hard, not really difficult. A couple of things you saw it in copy paste and you're up and running in no time. This was actually complete the image, which is going to be 315 megs. And the last part of our script is going to be run the final, which is going to be the building the ISO image with a UFE interface. I'm getting it ready. That's really, really quick actually. That's going to be really good. That ISO image. If I copy from the build X um, to my machine, I download that fairly quick, <clears throat> only 368 megs ISO. And there it is. I can create another virtual machine. This will be Debian 10. And let's give it a 2048 megs of RAM. I don't need to add a hard disk at this point. I can create it. And uh, just sort of span it. So as before the live disk, let's go ahead and select the live disk. It's new and created Debian 10. We started, start the virtual machine, <coughs> and then Debian 10 testing should be coming to life as we speak. It comes with the LXD environment with loading us the indicators. Uh, root user with the root password that you set up and install and there is the interface running nice clean and neat system tools what we ask it to install and then if I do a scratch which was installed previously you can tell that it's Debian testing buster um, it's an LXD open box I can actually <coughs> use all the packages, like if I say htop does not exist, not a problem, apt install htop and it goes and get repositories directly from um, the bus repository and there's a package installed apt update and it goes to the Debian Buster release um, it works some of these bugs in terms of adding to the root user permissions but overall, that's how you can actually install in 10 minutes your own Debian 10 distribution as a Debian testing buster. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you, and have a great day.